Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Hobbit Let's Build. Um, I did record an episode and um, I lost the footage, unfortunately. So I'm not sure what you have seen and what you haven't seen. I probably should have gone back and watched the last video. However, uh, I did make this tree. Um, it's supposed to be an oak tree, looks a bit more like a beech tree. Um, that's going to be part of my tree pack that I'm going to release for world painter maps and stuff like that. We've also got this tree which is my large horse chestnut tree tutorial that I've plonked down here and over there in the distance we've got lots of other trees that are going to be in the tree pack but less of that. We'll come into the house. Now I think you saw me building all of this. Pretty sure I released that one and what you didn't see was all of this. So, what we've done here was uh, I got a simple ceiling design and floor sorted out and started planning on what the rest of it's going to look like and I did say that I needed to push this wall back a bit. So, I think we shall use World Edit for this just to make it speed things up a bit. So, position one set and position 2 and then set there uh, and of course that happens so set there uh, again and that just gives us a nice five block wide corridor here that's going to be there so it actually in fact this whole area here needs to be the yellow stained clay H plus 2 now does this work Stained clay, call on yellow. Oh, it worked. Get in. Dead happy about that. Um, and we'll just carry this on a little bit like this. Now, what I was debating in the last episode was having a curve because in the original drawing by Tolkien, it, this corridor did curve around like this. But then also in the wetter design there's a door here so not quite sure what to do with that yet oh and one more thing to show off as well uh, just before we get on with the building is sergeant sharper knives um, from the server really wanted to build here and I had no idea how I was going to build a hobbit hole here so she's gone ahead and done it and this is very much in the style of Lord Dacker um, so it's quite different from the rest of the plot but I kinda like it because purple wool of course um, I kinda like it because it's that different it adds a bit more variety to the plot uh, let's have a quick look around not done any interior by the looks of it but it's definitely quite a, a big hobbit hole for the size of it and it has an upstairs I'm not too fussed about the upstairs because you know I've put an upstairs on my plot so it's not that much of a big deal and we have this really nice little balcony area that I quite like um, so once we've started making the terrain look a bit nice and we add some more trees around that's gonna look really really nice and atmospheric hopefully anyway back to this build so we've sort of fleshed out the first hall and now we're gonna go for the parlor room uh, do I want to use this same material in here not too sure I think I might use a different floor material but for now I'll just do all of this Okay, so there you have this uh, floor done, and why is that slabs really? We want to get full blocks here and here, and we also want 
full box here and here. And if I can grab a stir block, it's going to go out like this. I'm going to have a slab there and there. And then it's going to go up to a full block, which means this comes down to a slab there, stir block there, pillar there. So that needs to be a pillar as well. Sand falling everywhere. And then we can do the same again. So stir block, stir block, slab, slab. And that's going to go up to a full block. And this will start to make sense in a minute. Um, I'm not quite sure how to do this side though. Slab, full block, slab, stir. I mean, this could work out. I'm not too convinced yet, but we'll see. And something else that I really want to try use is the new brick metadatas. Um, I've gone about on about these bricks quite a lot before. Um, I really love them. I asked for them specifically. Not, they didn't say, "Hey, you need to make this for Hobbit." But the reason I asked for them was for Hobbit designs, just because I think that the bricks that they had currently it's quite gritty and dark and. It's good for me most medieval stuff, but hobbits are quite clean, so didn't really suit it to me. Uh, so the bricks that I'm on about, I'll get them out now so I can do the fireplace. Are uh, the Extreme Hills Biome bricks. Um, bloody hell. So we just do this, and we get the blaze rod out. Extreme Hills Biome, copy that over. And instantly, those bricks look a lot nicer for the setting that we are currently in. I'm just going to add some light here because I'm aware that uh, it's quite dark in this room. Some netherrack and clear my inventory. I, the amount of times I have to do that on a build is ridiculous. My fire, and then we have a nice little fireplace. Um, so I'm just going to hide in this corner a second because I need to go do something and then I'll be back in a minute okay guys I'm back so now we're going to start working on the ceiling and I think I'm going to use birch wood for the ceilings what did I use in here did I use birch in here I did see it's like I already knew so we're going to just put birch all over the place in here for the ceilings but I still want this lip as it were oh dear um, so I might have to be slabs which means that's gonna have to be a jungle full block yeah that looks okay um, in fact I might even do that And then this as well needs to be birch. That needs to be the slabs. Which means we need to put jungle full blocks in here and in here. And how's that looking? Okay, this. Yeah, that's fine. Leave that how it was. Uh, birch planks up here and the great thing about having the planks up here now is that we can hang things from the ceiling without it looking too odd uh, I'll leave that side for a second just because we're not too sure how that's going to look and we want that to come round don't we in a corner we can do this one like this we need our jungle planks again so I'm doing this this house in particular is like a tutorial slash let build I'm not going to go into detail about telling you what blocks the place were but because I have done bag end before in the past um, 
I sort of I know roughly where I want blocks even though I am going to make changes to this one in particular for example this block here would use normally be there which I might actually put it back there put that there put that there so it's always good to once you've redone something and you've not done it for a while always go back and revisit it because there's always especially with the way Minecraft updates there's always changes that can be made so up like this which means we need more jungle planks there and there and now we can finally start to work on this window now did I use yep so just around the bottom here I'm gonna go with this very simple plank design here just to give a bit of variation Bloody sand everywhere, innit? Go away. And in fact, this can be like this. It's perfect size. Again, almost like I planned this stuff, isn't it? Um, if you guys have any ideas on what to do, or if something isn't looking right, please let me know. I'll try change it. But for the most part, with this build, hopefully you're just going to sit back and enjoy. Uh, and then shout at me, scream and shout if something is wrong, of course. And I'm also going to put this little sort of bench in here, so it's like a seat by the window. Uh, glass. I've said in the past, that wasn't meant to rhyme, that I just prefer the normal glass panes. For the most part just because you can see out of them i think i'm also going to put hello youtube and welcome back to another let's build a hobbit video um this episode we're going to be trying to make all this look nice and make it look like it's blended into the hill a lot more so first of all we're just going to put a nice straight line of grass all along the top here and cover up all the bits that we can like this and then I'll be showing you some tricks and stuff that I like to use for making it all look a bit more natural and a bit more um, sort of like well natural that's the only word I can actually think of to explain it just more natural so we want grass in the so we'll start with this kitchen, no we won't start with that, we'll end with that because that's the one I'm not sure of. So we'll start with this here. Now, we want it all to look nice and grassy and lush. So, first thing we need to do is get rid of all this dirt. Like that. And we can just do this, this and this. Looking okay. Put that in the need to cut that back a bit as well and I'm going to be using the bricks so I'll get those out maybe I will okay so we're going to need bricks um, stir bricks and slab bricks so we're going to try and get a nice fancy little something here that might be fancy enough for me. <laughs> um, extreme hills. How's that look? That's just like a nice little um, sort of ledge, you know, get some flower pots on there or something. We need to change all this back to grass. I mean, you know, you want the grass to cover up some of the more horrible bits that you don't want people to notice but you also um, you also don't want to have some awkward corners um, it's like this is not great but it's sort of okay for now 
Um, oh, missed a bit there. That could come out one block. So this here, right on top of the door, that looks awful. You can just see it all blending. So what we need to do is cut bit back on the hill, just so it almost sort of smoothens itself out. Now what's annoying about this, but it's also good, is that the dirt isn't changing. Which is great for when you don't want dirt to change to grass, but right now I do want it to change to grass, so that's a bit annoying. And we've got this big flat top here, so we also need to bring the hill forwards a little bit. And try and keep um, a grass block here, so if you came out to there, it starts to look a bit strange. Well, I've brought it out there and that's not too bad. And you want to stay away from 45 degree angles as much as you can. So because 45 degree angles is the same with when I make my trees that nature doesn't grow like that uh, so straight lines are almost always man made so you want to stay away from those types of ideas any of this is making sense I know what I'm trying to say but it's not really I'm not really articulating it well uh, we'll just cut these in here as well And as you can see now, this is sort of going up in a 45 degree angle. Oh, it's not a 45 degree angle, but it's going up like this in both corners. And that again is looking a bit bad. So it's go it does take a lot of just, you know, place a block, see how that looks, maybe make a change here and there. Just to make it look how, make it look more natural, make it look right. And it is something that it does just take time, practice and effort to be able to get it right. You're never going to get it right first time. So don't worry if you do something and it looks a bit strange. Because you're always going to need to add more to it. How's that looking? No, it's not too bad, but now we have this straight line back here. So I'm going to bring this all across by a couple of blocks. Join that up there. Get that and that. And like I said before, let's try to stay away from you know the straight line angle. So we've got like blocks of two there. It's not it doesn't look too bad. But you know, just cut that block, it's three, then two, then two, then three. So it just gives it a bit more shape. How's this looking at the moment? So yeah, I've got this straight line again here, so we want to cut that back. Maybe to there. And then cut that back by two blocks as well. So, already I think this is looking a little better. Just by adding a few blocks, just so it's not a complete sort of straight angle line of what it was earlier. Uh, and the other thing I need to do is add the shelters like I have over here. That's a great way to disguise um, like the bits where it looks a bit dodgy. So I'm going to take that and that should be all I need. Of course, one day I will get all this right when I'm middle mouse clicking and trying to select the goddamn blocks that I want. So this is going to be another way to help out with the steepness of the hill and trying to get rid of these straight lines. So we're going to want a small, um, small uh, one here. Like this you might be able to get away with bringing it out. <sighs> slap, 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 slap. Again, this is the middle mouse button when you right when you middle mouse click, and it just gives you one version of the slab instead of allowing you to place both versions. So that looks okay. We'll do the exact same on this side. Like that, I think it was. And then we can do those. And then we can have a really big one here. Coming out 
to about two blocks maybe like this I think two blocks might be a bit too much yeah so we'll do th oh, it was three we'll do two two blocks coming out and then maybe have them coming out like this have these supports up there sort of holding that up and maybe I think that's gonna look a bit strange isn't it one right in the middle um, let's see and we also need to add sort of the extra lip on the back and what this does is it just makes it look like it's fitting around the hill a little bit more um, and another great thing that you can do is obviously bring the grass out like this so it looks like it is really is just fitting around how it's where it's meant to be so that looks okay uh, I probably will make some changes to this now we'll try do a similar one over here so we want a shallower sort of curve for here well, so that's going to be five and then two and then one down there and we can have a couple of wall there and then do that, that I can't believe I've forgotten one of the more important things of a hobbit hole a round front door right we want so here's what we'll use a different block I think I was using oak, oak stairs, oak slabs. Can't believe I've absolutely forgotten about doing this. So this is a really simple design, just stir, upside down stir, and then done the same here. And I tend to leave this middle block open there. No wonder this house has been looking strange. Fancy not having a bloody round door. And then we can get the cobblestone walls, plonk them in there like that. There we go. That looks a little better, doesn't it? That looks a bit more like we know what we're, we're on about. We can do that. Like this. Uh, Honestly, I don't know what it is. Right. This, this, and this. That and that. Need another custom wall there. So what I was just doing then was just checking to see if you could actually see the dirt from down here, which you can't, so. Um, it's starting to come along, it's not looking great yet. Still a lot I can do and would like to do to make this look nicer. But you know, we do have a bit of extra room for adding grass blocks now. So it's looking a bit more natural and what you will start to see is you have these little bulges here where your windows and your doors are so now let's try and make this look good see if we can keep this window design so I'm using the wrong slabs when I'm doing this I'd like to keep uh, the slabs on the very top block of the stained clay or the wall of your block and go one block just past where the wall ends then you can bring it out another block you never want it just one block thick because it's, it just looks too shallow then on the underside give it a coating and on the top also give it a coating just wood like this 
and then you can just put your cobblestone walls in wherever they will fit like this there you go so that is probably the best one out of all of them that I've done here this I really don't like this bit so we'll cut all of that back all of that back all of that back change all that to grass you know I, when I started this episode I thought this was going to be a nice easy short episode to do it's really turned out to be the opposite hasn't it Is that there now that looks a bit that looks a lot more natural now um, adding these bits have helped to get that look I'm just going to cut that back a little bit not that much and that one a little bit so yeah it is starting to look a lot better now and we have that there and the other things that I will be adding to making this look nicer will be obviously bone meal because I need to bone meal the whole hill so you've got the tall grass and you've got flowers and I'll be adding ferns as well that'll help to look that'll help to make the plot the plot that'll help to make the hill look nicer and hide some of the more ugly bits like over there and it will also add colour to the hill and make it come alive so bone meal bone meal bone meal Can never find bone meal there we go I'm also thinking about adding hedges to this hill like I have um, for the blue flower hill as I called it over there so just have the random hedges all over the hill just like separate it into smaller fields and then you can have all of the uh, bone meal flowery grass bits in between as well so as you can see instantly just by spamming a bit of bone meal and getting the grass it adds a bit more colour variation to the hill and you've got the flowers as well so it does make it look quite a bit nicer um, and I'm quite happy with the way this is turning out I am debating whether to vary the textures in this and I think I'm probably going to redo this front one just because it's because we have these smaller ones and then this big one it doesn't quite look right and because the supports are back here instead of like at the front maybe if I bring that forward it might make it look right it just it looks a little bit too top heavy at the moment um, so this is subject to change I like that bit this bit's okay that might change a little bit but it won't change too much just need to add that maybe no I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do to this yet but it does need a bit of work as well this ah uh, I don't even know but yeah so we're gonna have the bone meal over and we're gonna have these type of hedges all over the hill as well I think that'll just like really add detail to what is gonna be other otherwise a very boring looking hill and maybe flatten some of the top here so it's got a bit more of a gradual smooth slope because at the moment it's very tall and this is probably about the highest that the roofs are going to come to so it could do with having quite a bit of the hill cut away that'll be it for this episode next episode we're going to start planning out the dining room and more of the actual hobbit hole uh, and then I'll probably do all of the floor, wall and ceiling stuff off camera and then we can start doing the interiors properly still not sure about this floor if you have a great idea for like a stony floor texture let me know I don't want to be using the same floor all the way through uh, this might even change as well maybe use oak or spruce in here but I definitely want a stone looking texture in here so if you guys have any ideas then let me know and I will hopefully be happy with it 
So that's it for this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one.